everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that everyone is staying healthy and safe right now and i also hope that everyone is staying entertained while being at home quarantined i know i'm trying to keep myself as busy as possible and one of the ways i enjoy doing that is filming youtube videos for you guys so in today's video i'm going to talk about my luxury wish list now disclaimer i have a lot of pieces on this luxury wish list but i am probably not going to purchase half of them ever but I do like to just think about the luxury items that I would like to purchase at some point in the future and if something is on my luxury wish list for a long period of time like let's say six months then at that point I usually give myself the green light to actually consider purchasing it if I have the funds to do so so if you are interested in luxury videos luxury wish list videos then just keep watching so the first item on my luxury wish list is an item that I do foresee myself purchasing within the next year. It's something that's been on my wish list for quite a while now. I want to say over a year, and that is the Chanel Ballet Flat. I am interested in these shoes in the most classic version, which to me is the black and the beige combination. I think they are so timeless and classic and classy, and I love that having a combo of the black and the beige makes it really really versatile so that I can wear it with black or dark colored outfits but also with lighter colored outfits and I feel like it's just one of those ultimate classic pieces in any luxury wardrobe. These shoes for me wouldn't be an everyday pair of shoes because I tend to wear Birkenstocks on a day-to-day -day basis. They're the most comfortable for my feet but I would wear these if I were to go out for brunch or even to church and anything else really like if I were going shopping to the mall or just doing something where I wanted to look a little bit more dressed up but still wear flats and be comfortable this is probably the shoe that I would reach for all right so the next item that I have on my luxury wish list which also has been on my wish list for a few years now it is the Louis Vuitton toiletry bag in the 25 centimeter size this is their classic toiletry bag no frills or anything to it and I would like it in the Damier Eben color because that is what I have most of my other Louis Vuitton SLGs in and I just think that this is a classic that will never go out of style. I do already have a toiletry bag that's exactly this shape. It's not an expensive one. It's from Shiseido years and years ago and I use it from time to time when I travel so I do know that getting the luxury version I would have use for it. However, the reason why I haven't brought it higher up on my wish list and actually purchased it yet even though it's not super expensive is because I just don't travel all that much. Uh, I don't need a toiletry bag to go places all the time if I'm not traveling that much anymore. I used to travel a bit more a couple years ago for my old job and I also used to travel when my now fiance and I were not living with each other and I would go to his house and you know vice versa but I would have basically a toiletry bag to go and stay at his house during the weekends and things like that. Now I don't really need that but I still would like one because it's such a classic and timeless piece that I know will never grow out of style and I will get use eventually and throughout my entire life. All right, moving on to some shoes. Now, the next luxury item that I have on my wish list, I've also had on my wish list for quite a bit of time, and it is a pair of Prada platform sandals. I just did a video about an H&M haul, and in that haul, you will see a pair of platform sandals that looks very, very similar to a lot of the Prada sandal styles out there. They're very retro inspired and I love that look so I'm gonna see how much I like using the H&M ones and how much wear I get out of it of course after all well, the quarantine is over but at that point I'll see if it works for my style really well and then I may consider upgrading to the Prada version because I think they are so so adorable and I've really moved away from wearing uncomfortable shoes no matter what I really don't wear stilettos or high heels like I used to wear and I like that these shoes have the platform to make the arch not so steep and also a really thick chunky heel to make it more stable and easy to walk around in. The next two items on my luxury wish list are also sandals and they're also shoes from Prada but they're actually a pair of flat sandals and I want two of them ideally because I want them in the beige color as well as the black leather color but they're just the simplest thong 
wrap around your heel kind of sandal. I wear these sandals very frequently here in Florida. They're very summery, they're very casual, cute, comfortable. I feel like you can dress them up a little bit or dress them down, obviously they're very simple. And I also like how they're not very showy. They don't have a logo on them, they don't say the brand. So I kind of like that when I wanna feel like I'm dressing luxuriously, I wanna feel luxurious, but I don't necessarily wanna show off to everyone else in the world that I'm wearing something super expensive from a luxury brand. So that's why I really, really am interested in these shoes. I have actually tried them on once before and I'll say that they weren't the most comfortable shoes, which is kind of why I've pulled back from actually purchasing them. But I think eventually I might bite the bullet. I might try them on again and see a little bit more if it's something that I could break them in and get to work for me. All right, so the next set of luxury goods that I have on my wish list are more of the dream category. These pieces are pieces that I love and I've thought about purchasing for quite a while, but there are quite a few reasons why I haven't purchased them. And I don't know if that's going to change in the future. At least with my current budget, I don't feel necessarily that it's worth it to actually purchase these, but who knows in the future, I might actually go ahead and buy some of these if I continue to think about them so much. And the first item on that wish list is the Montclair Lance jacket. Now this is one of their most lightweight down jackets, which is perfect for living in a warmer climate as I do. And the reason why I'm interested in this is because I actually have a Uniqlo jacket that's a very light down. It has a hood, um, but I end up wearing it quite a bit just around the house when I'm a little bit chilly. They're super comfortable because they're kind of puffy and they're very like mobile, like flexible, very comfortable to wear. So that is one of the reasons why I really want this jacket. I love the brand Montclair but unfortunately the reason why I have not purchased it right now is because it's missing a few key features for me uh, one of them is it doesn't really have a hood it has a collar but no hood and that's one of those things that I just would prefer in a jacket I know Montclair has a bunch of other jackets that I've looked into but the ones with the hood they seem to be a little bit more like a heavy-duty winter jacket whereas I'm looking for something that's just a little bit more of a warmer weather kind of jacket and secondly I also plan to wear this when I'm exercising because that's what I wear the Uniqlo jacket for, but I can't really imagine myself actually going on a run and wearing a Montclair jacket. I don't know. It just seems way too bougie to me. One day, maybe I will want to be that bougie out in public when I exercise and I will go ahead and buy it. But for now, I'm going to keep it on my wish list, a little bit lower on my wish list and just continue dreaming about it. <laughs> All right. The next item on my luxury wish list is the Goyard St. Louis tote or the Artois tote. Now these two tote bags are very similar except that the Artois tote bag has leather tabs on the bottom to protect the corners from wearing a little bit more and it also has a zipper closure on the top which is amazing for me. Honestly those were the two things that were the biggest drawbacks for me when I was considering purchasing the St. Louis tote so I love that about the Artois tote. However it is very pricey for what it is. I think they're over $2,000. I, I actually know that they're over $2,000. I don't exactly know what price specifically they are, but yeah, it's a, it's a little pricey. However, I do respect Goyard as a brand and I like the print a lot. I would like to add something from the brand to my personal collection, maybe even just a Goyard wrap bracelet with the canvas pattern on it, but that is a purse that I could get use out of. I wear tote bags from time to time if I'm running errands and need to put a bunch of stuff in my bag or if I'm going to the beach and things like that. So maybe one day I will end up getting that. I love the bag, but right now it's going to stay on my wish list. All right, the next item on my wish list is an item that I've never actually had anything luxury of, and it is the Prada Classic Nylon Backpack. They do these backpacks all the time. I think they just came out with a new line, a re-nylon line, where they're using recycled nylon to make the backpack, which I think is such a great idea. And overall, I think they're such a durable, practical kind of backpack that's really timeless. I don't think Prada has really changed the silhouette or the design of the backpack very much at all over the last 
last couple of decades, which is really great, I think. And I do think it's a really nice mix between something that's luxurious and a little bougie, but also something that looks very casual and easy to wear. The only reason why I'm not jumping on this trend right now is because I just don't really wear backpacks that often, plain and simple. If I did, I would definitely go for this backpack, but until I really think about occasions where I could wear backpacks or start to wear some of the older backpacks that I have that aren't luxury, and really incorporate them into my style, I'll probably keep this one on my wish list. All right, the second to last item on my luxury wish list is a classic, classic piece that's on probably many wish lists out there, and it is the Chanel Classic Flap Bag. I love this bag. I considered purchasing this bag just before I actually ended up getting my Chanel Boy Bag because I thought that it meshed with my style and my lifestyle a little bit better but it didn't completely push off the classic flat bag from my wish list. I ideally would like to have it in the small size, which is a little bit more rare than the medium size. And I like that size. I feel like it looks the best on my body frame. I'm a little bit more on the petite side. I'm about 5'4". And I think that that would be such a cute bag. The reason why I didn't end up going with that bag when I purchased my Chanel boy bag was because it seemed a little too old for for me for my style like i just couldn't imagine going to some of the bars and areas that i go to wearing that chanel bag it seems like the boy bag is more tailored to those kind of occasions but in the future who knows i might end up going to fancier classier events and want to invest in one of these bags i also don't know what color i would want to get it in probably black caviar and gold hardware because it is really the most classic color and i do think i would get the most use out of that version as opposed to other colors however because i have the chanel boy bag in black and gold they kind of would fit the same purpose in my mind so that's another one that's going to stay on my wish list for a little while all right so the last item on my luxury wish list is an item that's definitely a holy grail item for a lot of handbag enthusiasts out there and it is the hermes kelly bag but not just any hermes kelly i personally only see myself really wearing the mini size in for some reason I envision it in this beautiful blue color with gold hardware I don't know where I've seen this probably on Instagram on someone but it looks so stunning to me and I'm not really a colorful handbag kind of person but for some reason this combination and this color it looks so adorable I definitely am lusting over it but with the price tag I am nowhere close to getting it maybe in the future as again a holy grail item I will look into it but for now it's gonna have to stay on the wish list and I'm going to just admire it from afar for a very long time so there you have it guys I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that it provided you a little bit of entertainment and escapism from everything that's going on right now and don't take it too seriously I am not throwing away money at this time I don't know if and when I'm going to purchase any of these items but it does make me happy to think about luxury goods and think about times when I was considering in buying these things and had a many fewer problems than we do now so once again i hope that everyone is staying safe out there and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and i hope to see you in my next video bye